Welcome to the show, everyone. It's the Crypto Lark coming to you from San Francisco, and today I got the chance to speak with Chandler from Anchor. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. Now, what are you guys doing? Can you give us the short version, the elevator pitch, so to speak? Yeah, so uh, we're doing a uh, decentralized cloud computing platform or more of an infrastructure on trusted hardware. Uh, you know, we are uh, the first one, you know, um, leveraging both cryptography primitives and uh, trusted hardware, so, you know, specifically Intel SGX. Mm -hmm. So that's the high level pitch of it. Uh, and uh, there, there are so many technical details about it. Uh, you know, uh, we will release the white paper very soon. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you and I are going to be sitting down again to actually go over this more in depth. Uh, when the white paper comes out, but I really just wanted to give uh, the audience a little taste of what you guys are doing. So, cloud computing, how do you differ from Golem, for example? So, I guess uh, most of the uh, you know, cloud computing platform on blockchain right now, nowadays, you know, they are, uh, I guess, they're on the smart contract layer, uh, and then they, you know, redistribute the, uh, you know, computational resources uh, through tr smart contract. Uh, but we uh, at Anchor Network, uh, we, you know, we sort of um, had this, uh, we had this, uh, you know, new consensus protocol called Proof of Useful Work, uh, where, you know, otherwise wasted uh, computational resources are reused in the system. Mm -hmm. So in the traditional Proof of Work consensus, uh, you use that kind of uh, uh, you know, electricity and computational power towards uh, computing a hash number, but in uh, proof of use of work, um, you just uh, uh, you know. So everything you do is based on useful ta task, and you know, especially uh, tasks from coming from enterprises mm -hmm. and uh, academic academic institutions. Awesome. So, for everyone who doesn't realize about what Bitcoin does, we've got hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of computers out there, which are all fighting to solve the puzzle to get the Bitcoin reward. And there's a massive amount of energy and a massive amount of computational power put onto that. And so if you were to re, I mean, we're not talking about moving Bitcoin hashing power away, but actually introducing a new system for, here's how we can use all this computer power in a useful way. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess big Bitcoin uh, has gone wrong in a way that uh, people think is more of a computation uh, platform, but it really is just a currency. And then I think uh, Nakamoto, you know, back then never expected uh, people to have huge mi mining rigs yeah. uh, for Bitcoin. But uh, I guess uh, Bitcoin will, will, will stay for sure, but uh, we're, you know, we're targeting a different space. Absolutely, and that's, that's something that's good to point out as well is that when uh, you know, Satoshi wrote the white paper uh, almost 10 years ago now, it's a very different times now. I mean, we've seen an exponential explosion yes. in new technology. And so are you gonna, you're going to have a hardware component as well? No, not yet. So uh, right now we're only uh, you know, uh, using Intel CPU. And then I want, do want to point out that uh, we actually, uh, the anchor network on uh, Intel SGX has a very high mar market penetration because uh, uh, nowadays every uh, sixth generation, seventh generation, now, you know, now mm -hmm. even uh, recently Intel released uh, the uh, eighth generation Intel CPU, they are all equipped with uh, in, uh, SGX instructions. So, uh, confidently speaking, it has over 65 market uh, you know, penetration given that people change their laptop PC uh, you know, uh, every two and three years. So, I've got an i7 in my laptop. So, what you're saying is that I can actually yeah, now rent out my laptop when it's sitting there and as add computational you, uh, power. Yeah, you have to check your spec. Uh, as soon as it's supported by SGX, which most of the uh, CPUs on the market, even the, like a uh, PC you buy from uh, uh, Best Buy, is you know, SGX ready. I just love projects like this because I think of a computer largely like a car. For most people, your computer sits there most of the day not being used, mm -hmm. unless you work at home and like I do, but yeah. even then I gotta sleep at some point. So when I'm sleeping, my computer could be making money for me. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Like uh, you throw away your computer, you know, which, which is functioning totally fine, uh, you know, every two and three years. Um, they're just sitting there doing nothing when you're sleeping. Uh, and then think about it, say, uh, you know, some people in China need mm -hmm. a computational uh, task to be done. Uh, it can be done uh, by you know, people in the US who is actually sleeping. In, at night, you know, uh, that's very powerful uh, in the future. And then uh, think about uh, the, the 
amount of users that will be joining the network. Especially, you know, recently uh, we will be partnering up with uh, a Boeing project, where, which already has uh, 300,000 uh, organic users wow. on, on their platform. Um, so, you know. That's, a, that's great. That's, that's an amazing partnership to have um, basically right away because it's immediately people are going to be using the yes, Anchor exactly. Network. Now, what are the key use cases that you see for this? I know, for example, let's, let's say Golem again, they're working on like, you know, digital rendering and things like this. Mm -hmm. And we have different projects which are working on training AI. Are you going to do all that, or do you have more of a use case? So I guess, uh, uh, first of all, it's Intel CPU, right? CPU is a you know, general purpose uh, computational processor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it can do any, you know, uh, theoretically, it can do any kind of work. Uh, but uh, you know, and, and GPU is you know, spe specifically for you know, uh, very parallel computing tasks. Um, and then, I guess, um, so, so you know, first of all, we, we've had uh, many talk partnerships talks Especially in in the Asia market, uh, you know, uh, we've you know being, I guess most of the uh, use cases are uh, in the financial industry um, where they require a lot, lot of you know transactions mm -hmm. to be done, uh, and then we are also targeting you know ag academic institutions. So we talk with Berkeley, we're going to talk with uh, uh, many other uh, you know I guess colleges uh, in the U.S. or in in, in worldwide uh, to provide our computational power. To them, uh, I guess, because you know, because uh, I was working in one of the Berkeley labs when I was a student there, and mm -hmm. then we actually use uh, AWS um, as a as a main uh, you know computational resources. Yeah. So the demand is there, and the demand is only growing. This is the thing: is that when you start looking at the numbers, you see how much demand for computational power, especially because mm -hmm. you know, making digital films and digital rendering, all this stuff, is just getting more and more resource intensive. And so if you can actually wide in the network, mm -hmm. wide in the potential. Yeah, and then uh, I also want to point out that uh, uh, traditional cloud computing providers, uh, they have very high margins, uh, being you know, 30 to 40 percent margin you know, already given to the park, um, customers uh, because uh, first of all, uh, for example, Am Amazon Web Service, they have a very high human capital cost, mm -hmm. uh, they have a very high upfront infrastructure and server cost, uh, which all you know, uh, counts towards uh, the price that's given to the customers. And then we at, Net at Anchor Network, first of all, we don't really have a server uh, cost because it's running on everyone's uh, CPUs, uh, and then we don't really have a high human capital cost because uh, really, you know, it's, uh, first of all, it's is you know efforts from the anchor team and also you know developers from worldwide mm -hmm. the communities. Um, so um, I guess uh, it's really I guess uh, we're trying to envision a world powered by all of us. That's awesome. I I, I just love the concept and I think. Anytime I hear about a project like this, I just think businesses are going to respond to this because basically you're going to businesses and saying, hey, you're spending $100,000 a month on this. Well, we're going to save you X percentage mm -hmm. on your monthly costs. And they're going to go, oh, really? That's interesting. I want to save money because that's what businesses want. Their bottom line is important and you're going to help increase yeah, that. Yeah, we, we talk with uh, several startups in the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, especially a uh, you know, very new, I guess, new startup. Um, they're not. I guess they're not really willing to pay a really a lot, you know, a lot of money on you know Azure, mm -hmm. Amazon Web Service. You know, I think this will be a great uh, use case for that. That is super awesome, Chandler. Thank you so much for taking the time to give us a little sneak peek onto what you guys over at Anchor Network are doing. Again, everyone, watch out. There will be a full proper review on this coming in the near future. So thank you so much. Thanks. Long live the blockchain, and peace out till next time.